Well, welcome to Odyssey High School, first semester of Algebra 1. My name is John Turner. I'm a new teacher. I've taught in the school district for 31 years. This is my third year here at Odyssey. And as you can see, I want to point out a few things about the class to help get you organized and get you ready. So your screen will look approximately like the screen you're seeing right now that I have on this video. Mine's just formatted a little bit more for an instructor's, but you'll have pretty much the same features. We'll start up here if you follow the, uh, the arrow here uh, for the news form. You'll click on this every Monday or every first day of the school week and you'll see that there will be some type of a topic that's been added that will give general news and announce what you're going to be responsible for that week in the class. As you can see if I click on here this week I want you to complete the orientation quiz and the first three assignments that are listed as due of 830. Okay. You can also see my email address right there if you have any questions need to get a hold of me. So let's go back. All right, you'll also see underneath the news form, class information and description. It has some basic information. It has a breakdown of the classes. You'll also see the grading policy. Okay. If you have any questions about any of these, you can email me or ask me in person when I get a chance to meet you. And the resources are somewhat limited here, but we have textbooks and we have uh, videos and notes that are online to help you. Okay. Now, this is the introduction video that you should have clicked on to be hearing me talk about uh, the topics that I'm discussing uh, right at this moment. And you'll also see the orientation quiz listed below. Some of this stuff that's grayed out, you'll be seeing that soon enough. Now, if you come down below here, you'll see what you're responsible for this first week. This is the textbook link. If you click on that, you'll be able to click onto this and get to the textbook to find out uh, any assignment that's out of the book or any information that's given in the book. As you'll discover, the assignments are multiple choice questions that are already embedded right into the uh, lessons themselves along with the videos. I have notes typed out for each of the sections in the book. Here's the first topic. You can see that you'll click on here to watch a video that will explain a little bit about the number line. Then you'll go to here after you've watched the video completely and understood it, you'll go to here to answer the questions. And as you answer the questions or multiple choice, you'll go ahead and hit next and when you're done with the assignment, it will grade it automatically for you. You are allowed to make up the assignment if you have trouble with it. But you'll probably want to ask for some help first before redoing it. So let me go back here just a little bit. The key to this class is with most math classes is to stay caught up. If you stay caught up with the assignments, then it doesn't become overwhelming. And that has happened to students at times. Work at home. If you can't get it done online uh, while you're in uh, school for those four hours each week, then you're going to have to be doing some work online. Do a little bit each night and spread it out. Make it a little bit easier on yourself. But also, ask questions when you're unsure. If you're in class, ask me. When you're out of the class and you're at home, be sure to email me and I'll be happy to help you. There are tests that are at the end of each of the chapters except for chapter one. You can see here chapter one doesn't have a test and although you're not going to be able to see it on your computer, you can see right here in the video that there are several assignments and then there's a chapter two test. Each chapter after chapter one has a 100 point test and so of course those are very valuable and you want to do well with those. You also get two attempts at each of the tests. If you have questions, be sure to ask me and I'll be happy to help you to understand this so that we can have a good year of Algebra 1, learn some topics to help us for the proficiency test and get us ready for geometry. Best of luck now.